What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. Right at the beginning of the video here, I wanted to, uh, I want to say something, I guess is the way to put it. <laughs> um, sounds weird to say it like that, but um, I was talking to someone a long time ago, multiple times, about some like video game related t-shirts and stuff like that. I've gone through all of our messages in Facebook, Instagram, email. I cannot find it. So if that was you, please email me, doublejumpvideogames at yahoo.com. Also, mounted the TV last night. Ba -ba -ba bam We were going to get a, like a TV stand to go underneath it and then have the TV on top and have, you know, PS5, whatever, hooked up. And I was going to mount a TV in the game room, and then I, we were like, well, we might as well just mount this one as well then. We, we're still going to get a TV stand to go below it, but it's just going to be, you know, to hold all the consoles and all that kind of stuff. Um, so this TV is the one for the game room, and this is the stand for that one. We got the same, the same mount for both TVs. And I wanted to show you guys, I did a little bit more work on the game room um, yesterday as well. Let me turn this light on. Um, so you guys have seen this wall. I've got all my brackets up, but I did this wall as well. And that is all the brackets that I have so far. You know, I'm gonna buy more obviously, but that is everything so far. And originally my plan was to not cover the whole room in shelving and I wanted to have you know breaks in the shelves where I can maybe have like a display item or a poster or something and then have every section of games separated like that I don't really think that that is possible with how much stuff we have but also if it is I've realized that even by putting up all these brackets I could still have a break there is a 32 inch gap between every everything here. So I could have that 32 inch gap with no shelving and that could fit a frame poster or something like that. So I decided to try to finish up the room and, you know, get all the brackets up. Like I said, this is everything that I have currently. So I was able to go all the way to the corner. I just need to finish this wall basically. And I don't know if I'm gonna be putting anything on that wall because the washer and dryer, which are now hooked up but are not stacked yet, those are gonna be going right there. This one stacks on top of this one. So it'll be up here. Then I'll have room for two, maybe three kiosks on that wall. That was kind of my plan. So once I get this wall done with these brackets, bam, then those will be all the vertical brackets that I need. And then I will just have to finish getting all these up. And then of course, from that point, I need the actual shelves. So I haven't really purchased anything else for this project um, over the past week or so, aside from like, you know, screws or something really small, because um, we've just been trying to save some money and everything. We've spent a lot of money since moving into this house, like fixing things and getting things, of course. So got to save a little bit, um, but I'm hoping to be able to get some shelves, some of the actual, you know, wooden shelves soon, because once I have those shelves, that's when I can start actually opening the boxes and putting stuff away. And once that starts happening, the room is going to transform pretty quickly. Um, you know, even if I have all the shelves up when they're still empty, it's going to look, you know, it's just, just going to be the skeleton of the room. It's just, you know, empty shelves. You're going to see the wall and all that kind of stuff. But once we start putting stuff up, it's going to fill up really, really quickly. And I don't think it's possible for me to get everything unpacked and put away in one day. Possibly if it was one of our days off and I woke up early and just did it all day, I could maybe do it, but it's not going to be finalized because like I mentioned before, I'm going to, I'm going to be rearranging things multiple times in this room before I get it how I want it to be, but I'm excited. It's going to be a lot of fun. Hopefully we can do it pretty soon. Homer, what are you doing? What are you doing, boy? Oh, okay. Arya's over there. <laughs> oh my, you're so cute. Uh, all right, guys. Abby's at the store. I'm gonna head in now. 
gonna try to work on some stuff and uh, maybe on my way home tonight, I'll stop at Home Depot, grab another box or two of these so I can start getting those up. I still have two more boxes, but they are, they're basically buried behind where I stacked up all the collection boxes so I can't get to them. Um, and I'm not gonna be able to get to them until I start pulling those boxes into here. So, but I don't have enough anyway. The, what I have up right now on these shelves, that was two boxes. So I have two more boxes, which means that I can maybe finish out this wall and maybe do one, one section on that wall. So I'm gonna need like, it's like seven or eight more boxes to get this place, you know, completely done. But, um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I mentioned at the beginning, if I was talking to you about video game t-shirts, um, please email me. And uh, yeah, it's time to go to the store. Many hours later. It's almost closing time and I have not filmed anything, guys. I'm sorry, we are down one employee today, so it's just been um, myself and Abby here, obviously. And then we have Kyle and Hayden, and we had to pull all the orders and get all that stuff shipped. There's still more here. Uh, but we're going to go through the trades from today, and then we're going to have some packages to open later. So not back here uh, because it takes up too much room we got a ton of consoles traded in today we got a dreamcast a ps1 multiple wii's a super nintendo i think a gamecube um and maybe some other stuff we also got a nintendo switch you can see right here we have a blue dsi xl and then we have this uh limited edition red psp it has a skin on it uh but it's it's red anyway so it's already a special edition but the skin that's on it is just kind of you know extra i guess whoever buys it will probably want to peel that off hey hi How how's it going it? jinx you and me coke i didn't say the same thing as you doesn't matter same just same thingy that's not how it works did you tell people what we filmed no oh you have a little piece of tape in your beard sweetie <laughs> Um, okay. Well, you don't want to tell them? No, we can tell them. So, my tarantula molted last night. And I know that somebody commented, they're like, cute, it should never be used to describe a tarantula. But they're adorable. Anyways, um, my tarantula molted last night. And Cooper's like, oh my god, your tarantula flipped over. And I was like, oh! And she started molting. So, she molted last night and she finished this morning. Um, but we filmed it. I don't know how much it caught, though. I mean, we literally set the camera up and it filmed overnight. Yeah. So. Because it takes a really long time for tarantulas to molt. Um, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm I, excited to see the footage. I was looking, because I stayed up way later than you last night. Yeah. And I was, I was like going over and looking every now and then. Mm -hmm. And last night, she was done. But she looked dead. Yeah. they Because it's exhausting for them. Um but it wasn't, it wasn't just that she, like, wasn't moving. It looked like she didn't have an abdomen. I looked this morning, and she looks normal again. Ooh, okay. Because when tarantulas have bad molts, sometimes their molts will stick to them. And I was worrying, worried that you were trying to say, like, her abdomen was missing, and that happens. That's what it looked like this morning. She was, like, or last night. Not this morning. This morning, she looks fine. She's all furry and whatever. She's so cute. But last night... Mm-hmm. She was still laying upside down. Yeah. And her molt was next to her. Yeah. And her, like, teeth and everything... Are white. They were white and bright red. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then her abdomen was white, but it looked like a shriveled up grape. It didn't look like an abdomen. I'm worried now. That was only last night. This morning, she looked perfectly normal. Oh, okay. <laughs> Quit worrying about it. I said it three it's times. It's my baby. Hi, Kyle. Hi. Kyle's oh, here. I'm sorry. What are these? systems bam some of the ones i told you guys about Thank you, sorry. Really? and look at it over there it's getting full oh i'm so excited to see her tonight then i was thinking like i don't know if i'm gonna even be able to import that clip into my computer like it might take multiple like it might take a day to import it eh, the, it'll be fine the clip is like overnight. 12 okay. hours long <laughs> I don't know I'm if it'll excited. it'll ever import. I'm excited to see it. Do you want to see a video of Abby's tarantula molting? No, I'm good. It's only like 12 hours long. 
I'm good. We'll speed it up and it'll be like 30 seconds. <laughs> I'm good. Thanks, though. Okay, bye. <laughs> All right, let's finish going through this stuff, guys. We have F1 World Grand Prix, Super Mario Odyssey, uh, Mario Sonic Olympic Winter Games for the DS, and we have some Wii U games here. Warriors, th Warriors Orochi 3 Hyper. This has all the faces cut out. <laughs> and right there. And on the back. So this is definitely marked as being in poor condition. Even the swords are cut out. But uh, the person said they got this from a kid. And the kid had cut all the faces off the thing. We have Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric. Xenoblade Chronicles X. Rayman Legends. Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. Zelda Breath of the Wild. Transformers Prime. Mighty Number no. 9. And Injustice Gods Among Us. Good little bundle of Wii U games there. Some more uncommon ones you don't get all the time. Sonic and Knuckles. Wolverine, Adamantium Rage. Maximum Carnage. And Sonic 1. This is a water damage and ripped cover art. Super Mario World and Super Mario All-Stars. We have th uh, four, three Dreamcast VMUs, one off-brand memory card. Shadows of the Empire. NBA 2K. Rally Cross. Sega Bass Fishing. Two copies, one with no manual. Omega Boost, Army Men 3D, and F355 Challenge. I uh, like for something Ferrari. Um, and then last stack here. I did not sort these, by the way. Madden NFL 11, Madden NFL 10, NBA 2K11, Madden 13, Madden 25, Stars Battlefront, Alien vs. Predator, double feature, Blu ray, Gods of Egypt, John Wick 2. Call of Duty Finest Hour, Hot Pursuit 2, Road to, uh, Brothers in Arms, Road to Hill 30, Haunted Mansion for GameCube, Cars, Star Wars The Clone Wars, and Tetris Worlds, Call of Duty 2, Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter, and Spider-Man 2. So, nothing like too crazy in terms of like rare games or anything, but lots of consoles, like I said, which is really awesome. That Switch, the PSP, and the DS, and then you guys, you guys just saw the three that, um, that Kyle brought back here, but there were definitely more. I'm pretty sure these two stacks are all from today. Look at all those Wii's. It's so crazy. But all the consoles back here are looking good. They're not really sorted like by, you know, like this isn't like a particular shelf or anything. There's a PS1 up here with Wii's and Super Nintendo's. But um, we're still working on, you know, trying to get it all cleaned up in here. Um, these are all boxes from GameStop. I still need to go through. Same with all those discs, all that stuff down there. Not the N64s, of course. Those two. And then this is some of the stuff that I listed on eBay. I did sell one bundle so far of the uh, the Xbox 360 hard drive transfer cables. So it's pretty cool to get some stuff cleaned out. And then we have a couple packages to open. I'm pretty sure that's the package from Venezuela that I talked about before. I'm very, very excited to show you guys that because there's really awesome stuff in there. We're going to open that here in just a bit. I forgot to show you guys these because they were sitting right here, but we have a neon red Joy-Con. We actually have gotten three Joy-Cons traded in today. I believe the other ones were yellow and blue, but I already put them out. And then this, I'm hoping this sells really quickly or else I'm going to post it on eBay. This is a Cyberpunk 2077 controller like charging dock for the Xbox. Um, so it's got the rechargeable battery pack here. It's got the battery cover for the controller, and then this is like the dock. Um, so there's the all the information. Um, but these things are very expensive. They, the guy who traded this in, he bought it. Um, he bought it off Amazon new for like 140, I think it was. And yeah, they're. I mean, it's kind of cool if you're into the game. It's kind of a cool little collector's thing, and, you know, obviously it's functional as well, so it's not just a display item, but uh, very expensive. So hopefully it sells pretty quick. Like I said, if it doesn't sell within probably a few days, then I'm going to post it up on eBay. All right, guys. So I have two packages here to open. Unfortunately, it's just going to be me because everyone else left, and I need this box cutter. So... Uh, Kyle was leaving. He has kids he has to take care of when he gets off work. Abby's going to the gym with her friend. <laughs> and then uh, Hayden was leaving. And I'm like, hey, you don't want to open some packages, do you? And he's like, no, I can't. I got to go pick up my dad from the airport. So I'm the only one here to do it, unfortunately, which is fine. Um, but we have two packages. First one here. I'm not exactly sure what this is. So we're just going to open it and we'll find out. 
It doesn't say disc resurfacing or anything like that. But I know that we we have a few deals we've made through email coming through. Um, <laughs> we have a note on this one. <laughs> it says, paragraphs are designated depending on the person reading the note. Um, so my paragraph says, Cooper, if you're reading this, then that means you have received the tons of peeps I have found at the Everett outlet over the last few weeks. Before deciding to send them, I confirmed with Abby to send them in. I know in the last video I sent a peep and it sounded like you didn't want to deal with any more of them, but I figured you can do what you want with them, even sell them. Um, <laughs> so it says, um, for Abby, Abby, if you're reading this, I hope you're doing well. I, I, I hope for your well-being that Cooper does not take out a violent rage like Piranha PD on you for confirming that I can send these in. For any other employee, warning, this package might make Cooper erupt in anger at peeps. <laughs> it says you can do whatever you wish with the other item. So, I'll show you guys the other item first. We have a Charmander. Cute little Band Presto Charmander. A Charmander! He's got a little thing to hang him up. I'll add him to the, the massive mountain of plushies that's right over here. And then, as you guys read, he sent some peeps. So we have two blue ones here, and then we have a little blue one, and then a little pink one with a bow. <laughs> so thank you to Connor. Um, I will have to figure out something to do with the peeps. I kind of have an idea. Um, I think we're always going to have like one or two around just, just because, um, but I kind of have an idea that has to do with the other channel that I've been thinking about starting. So it wouldn't, it doesn't make sense. And that will give you zero clues as to what I'm thinking about doing. But, um, so thank you, Connor. Um, we do have another package here, which I'm not going to be opening because it's not addressed to me, but it's this one and it is addressed to Evil Ryan. So um, I'm gonna try to find him tomorrow. And he, you know, he's digging out, he's digging out back in like the garbage cans a lot. So hopefully he's out there tomorrow and I can have him um, open that one. And I don't know, we're, we're gonna have to figure something out because we can't keep inviting him into the store when he's banned, you know, but I don't know. So the last package we have here, is our package from Venezuela. So what's really cool about this, and I have talked about this already before, but I'll just give you guys an update in case you missed that vlog. There, This is a new supplier for us. And it seems weird to have a supplier from Venezuela because it's not the type of place you would think that you would, you know, get stuff from. They're not, it's not like ordering from Japan or, you know, anything like that. So it's a little weird, but um, they contacted us and they were just like, hey, we are, we, we, we buy stuff here in Venezuela. We sell it. We so we wholesale it to sellers in the United States and Venezuela. Um, they have NTSC games. They're, they're basically no different from the game you might buy in the USA. So there's no problem with any like region locking or anything like that. They're all identical. Uh, some of them might have Spanish on the cover or something, or, you know, the manual might be half Spanish or whatever, but for the most part, they are identical to the same exact copies you would find here or like in Canada or something. So um, they're all good on that front. What's really cool about this though, is that they don't have like a website or anything and I don't get to pick what we get basically. What happens is they put a giant bundle together, they give you a price and they say, do you want it? Yes or no. And so that's pretty cool to me because we get a good variety of stuff. And what makes it extra cool is that pretty much everything in the, in the pictures and in the bundle that they put together is something good. It's something that I would buy for sure. So they can curate the, the bundles a little bit to what you're looking for. And so I did tell them, um, cause most of this stuff is like top quality stuff. I did tell them that I would take, um, filler titles for N64 and GameCube for sure. So, Hopefully we'll get more of that kind of stuff. But 
First up, we have a disc only copy of Folklore for PS3. This one, if I'm being honest, is probably just gonna go on eBay or Amazon. Uh, we're trying to not have as many disc only games in the store. I've already posted some on eBay. If you guys um, have checked, you might've seen a, a few on there, uh, but that'll probably go on there. From what I remember, that was the only disc only game though. So I'm just gonna grab off the top here. Looks like they're not sorted in any way. So we have GoldenEye and Tonic Trouble for N64. We have Silent Hill Downpour for PS3. It's a little dusty. I'm trying my best to, to not be bothered by it. Um, this one's really rough, but it's uh, Mystical Ninja for the N64. And then we have Pokemon Platinum. Nice complete copy. Legit cartridge. You just look on the top. I can't show you, it's not gonna zoom in, but um, you can look up uh, Scott Squatch's video where he shows how to check. Uh, Mega Man Star Force Pegasus. I'm not gonna open them all. Uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Time. Uh, Legend, of, Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks. Uh, Pokemon Ranger and Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. Couple loose games in here. We have Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team, Pokemon Ranger, and Pokemon Dash. We have Mario Party. Uh, Star Fox 64 3D. Pokemon Heart Gold with the big box here. I think this was missing something. Okay, so yeah. So the game, the game is in here, uh, but it looks like no instruction manual and there's no actual Pokewalker. It's got the, the cardboard insert for it, but there's no actual walker, which that is not a huge deal because I'm pretty sure that we have one somewhere. I'll have to double check, but pretty sure we have one and hopefully we have a manual as well to complete that nice big box set. Uh, three more in 64 games in here. <laughs> okay, this is one of the better games in the whole bundle, but we have Conker's Bad Fur Day. Little rough. Kirby 64 and Yoshi's Story. Also pretty rough on those ones. Oh, there's another, another loose game here. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Darkness. And then we have some Vita games. We have Need for Speed, Most Wanted. We have Metal Gear Solid HD Collection. Resistance, Burning Skies. Uncharted, Golden Abyss. And PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. And then, just gonna grab a stack here. We have Skyward Sword. New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Green Day Rock Band. New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Guitar Hero World Tour. Here's a pretty good one. Game and Wario for Wii U. Pokemon Battle Revolution for the for the Wii. Mario Party 4 for GameCube. Metroid Prime 2 for GameCube. Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. Uh, Wii Sports Resort. Another Wii Sports Resort. Wario Wear Smooth Moves. Wario Land Shake It. Mario Galaxy 2. Guitar Hero Van Halen and Rock Band 3. These ones are bubble wrapped for some reason. Another loose game, Advance Wars Dual Strike. These ones are bubble wrapped. Um, they're the only ones that are. <laughs> they're, oh, because these are factory sealed. That's why. We have Sonic Boom, Rise of Lyric. Batman Arkham City. Hyrule Warriors and Mario 3D World. Some more Wii games. Ugh. We have Wii Sports Resort. I'm kind of running out of room here. I'll stack them over here. Guitar Hero Metallica. Mario Galaxy 2. Fortune Street. Mario Kart Wii. 
Mario Galaxy 2, which is awesome because we like never have this game anymore. And then two copies of Wii Party. See, it is North American, it's got the ESRB rating, and then on the back it has it has English and Spanish. So it's got English up here and some Spanish down here. One more Wii game, Donkey Kong, uh, Jungle Beat. So this one is, oh no, I was gonna say this is all Spanish, but no, it's not. It's got Spanish on there, but it's also English. And then one more Wii U game, another Sonic Boom. And then the rest of what's in here is GameCube. So we have Mario, Superstar Baseball, Super Monkey Ball, Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time Master Quest, Pokemon Coliseum, Legend of Zelda, Wind Waker. Some of these don't have manuals, like I can I can tell this one doesn't have a manual. Pokemon also didn't have a manual. Uh, Sonic Heroes, Super Mario Sunshine, Star Fox Adventures, Super Smash Bros. Melee, and then the last four, we have Mario Strikers, Mario Kart Double Dash, it says it's a bonus disc one, and yep, it's all in there. And then Luigi's Mansion, and lastly, Twilight Princess. So, really, really awesome stuff. Um, it was not cheap, but for what we're getting, it's definitely worth doing. So, um, they actually emailed me a little bit ago. They're like, hey, we saw your box is delivered. Let us know when you open it and how you like it. And uh, so I'm going to email them back and say, it's awesome, everything looks good. I do wish that the the loose games here, they had like put into a bag or something because the box, you know, it's coming from Venezuela. This box, I mean, it has this. Something could have fallen out of there. That is a hole. Like something definitely could have fallen out of there. It's on the other side as well. So um, I'm just gonna ask them like, for like really small ones, if they could, you know, put them in a bag or something, that'd be awesome. But I think um, everything arrived how it was supposed to, so I'm super happy with that. And this stuff's not available just yet because um, I have to put it into the system first and I'm not doing that tonight, so hopefully tomorrow. I'm home now and Abby just went outside to take out some garbage and recycling. And we are cooking up some steaks tonight. Haven't had it for a long time. Um, since we moved in, this is the first time I'm actually like cooking, cooking. This is my first time using the stove and everything. But we went to Costco the other day, got these two beauties right here, and we got our a brand new cast iron skillet and everything. So I'm about to pop these in. Listen to the sizzle. Oh yeah. You hear that? All right. I'm not gonna film the whole process or anything, but I'll show you when they're done. And here it is all done. Our delicious steak. We have some green beans and then I have mushrooms. Abby doesn't like them, so she didn't get any. But man, it's gonna be so good. What the Smurf?